Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hello, my friends. This is Frances Vitakovic, and you are listening to the Dream Big My Friend podcast. This is the first episode that I have ever tried to record from inside my car. So I am sitting here waiting for my daughter to come back from the shops, and I thought I'm going to try to use this time really wisely. And it's to share with you something that I often do think about, because here I am talking to you about a podcast that's called literally Dream Big My Friend. And I do hope that all the episodes that I ever share with you are igniting something inside your heart and your soul about those dreams that you have deep down and that I do encourage you to chase them. And I know that there is a subset of people, of listeners that listen to this podcast and they think about their dreams and yet they don't do anything. And today I am speaking to you. I really do like wish that I could sit down across from you. If we were to sit down and have a tea right now, I would be asking you, what is holding you back? Like seriously, genuinely, I can't tell you how badly I wish I knew the answer to those questions. The the things that hold us back are the things that I am most curious about. Because unless you know what's holding you back in life, you can't actually even begin to solve the problem. It's almost like sitting down for a test that you haven't studied the material for. It's almost inevitable that you're going to get a big fat F when you haven't studied the material in advance. And that's the same when it comes to your dreams. If you haven't actually defined your dreams, then it's almost impossible to get a head start on it. It's impossible to think about the actions that you want to take because you don't have a clearly defined goal. So if your problem is that your goals aren't clearly defined, that you have this like stirring inside your heart and you know you want more and you know that you were made for more, but you don't actually know what that means, I definitely encourage you to check out my course, Create a Life You Love. Now you can actually find all my courses at inspiring-life.teachable.com. I have a huge bunch of courses there that covers literally every area of your personal development. And if you're a parent, there are so many great, valuable parenting courses there for you. But that's just one issue. Some of us have this issue or some of you guys are going to be sitting there not sure what you want to do. And that is why you haven't started. But let me speak for a second to you other lot. Now, you guys know who you are. If you have a dream and you know what it is, and yet you are refusing to take action, it's time to really explore what's holding you back. Now, I know that you might think that I've been really harsh. It's like, oh, I'm not refusing to take action. You know, something else is the reason why I haven't done anything yet. Let's just own it for a second. I really think it's important to take ownership of all your decisions and all of your indecisions. And not taking action is an indecision that you do need to own. But let's just be honest, like sit down and really think about it. Like you might have to pull out a journal and journal it. If you have a dream, whether it's to get a new job or start a business or travel the world or whatever it is, okay, because there is no limit to the dreams that we can have and they can be as complicated or as simple as whatever your mind is dreaming them up to be, okay? Like let, let your imagination run wild to you for a second. But if you aren't taking action, you need to honestly work out what is the reason for this lack of action. Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it, you know, being stressed about having to do other things and so you don't have time? Like time's another thing that often comes up. Try to diagnose the problem. Okay. What is the problem? Try to pinpoint it because you can't actually come up with a solution until you know what the real problem is. Now, I know it probably sounds like I'm preaching to. It's like, oh, Francis is like trying to boss me around. She's trying to make me do things that I don't want to do. But I honestly, like every single episode that I've ever sat down to record here for this podcast is because I have your best interest at heart. Like I do love and wish the best for you. And if there is something that is standing in your way, I want to help you get rid of that problem. I want to help you get over that obstacle. 
I want you to believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. And even if we have never met, I know already, like I don't have to meet with you to know that you are full of potential and to know that you are capable of amazing things. It is simply true because you are a unique and special individual in this world and we all have that potential lying inside of us and it is such a shame when we ignore it. It's such a shame when we pretend that it doesn't exist. It's such a shame when we pretend to be happy when we really aren't or we kid ourselves and say, I don't want it that bad. But do you realize that this life is so short and so precious and none of your dreams are just going to fall into your lap without you working for them. You absolutely will need to take action. You absolutely might have to feel uncomfortable at times, maybe often, but it's almost like that caterpillar that goes through that transformation in order to become a butterfly. When you read about like the little battle that it goes through in that cocoon, it is worth it. It is worth it in the end. And you too have to go through that transformation yourself. Like you need to grow and evolve and constantly step up to become the future version of yourself. And that starts by taking those actions today. Now, I totally believe in the value of baby steps, baby steps all the way, okay? You don't have to go and take massive leaps every day to get to where you want to go. Just remember the tortoise in that fable, the tortoise and the hare, okay? The tortoise just kept on moving in the right direction. But if you are not moving at all, so those are the people that I'm speaking today, I want you to consider whether a lack of self-belief, a belief in yourself, a belief in your ability, whether that could be the one thing that's truly holding you back. Because when you believe in yourself, you will find a way. When you believe in yourself, you'll embrace those fears. You'll find the courage to keep on moving because you know that you have your own back. You know that you will take care of yourself if you ever fall and you'll pick yourself back up. And most important of all, you know that your dreams are worth chasing. Because believe me when I say that there are going to be times in this world, in this life that you are living right now, where maybe people won't believe in your dreams and maybe people won't believe in you. But when you believe in yourself, other people's opinions don't matter. You don't need to have other people believe in you in order for you to believe in yourself. So you're probably wondering because I'm telling you right now that there is a very good chance that if you haven't started chasing your dreams yet, it's not just because you don't believe in your dreams, but maybe you don't believe in your own potential. How does a person do that if they have really struggled with self-doubt their whole life? Well, you just start with this idea that it is possible. If it's really hard for you to say to yourself right now, I believe that I can do it. I believe I have it in me then just embrace this bridging thought in the meantime that maybe it is possible. Maybe it is possible that I can have more in my life. Maybe it is possible that I can take tiny steps to get to those dreams. And maybe it is possible that I was made for more. And maybe it is possible that my dreams are worth chasing. Maybe it is possible. Now, I know that it is possible, but it is one thing for someone to say that they believe in you and they believe in their dreams and yet another for you to believe in them. And it really does come down to your own beliefs. Now, I could be your life coach working one-on-one -on -one with you and I could be your biggest cheerleader. But if you don't believe in yourself, it's going to be really hard for you to hear someone else's words of encouragement and let them sink in and let them sink into your bones until you become infused with this sense of power and excitement for life. You need to believe in yourself. And it all starts with a thought, I am made for more. Even if I feel fear, even if I experience excruciating doubt, I still believe that I was made for more. So I truly, truly do hope that you see in yourself what I can see in you already. Without having ever met you, I know that you have infinite potential you just need to believe in yourself. You really, truly do, my friend. And I truly do believe that when you start to just work on this one thing, like if you work on one thing, work on believing yourself. Even when no one else believes in you, even if to everyone else tells you that you can't do it, believe in yourself anyway. Like what have you got to lose? You've got to lose nothing. 
Because if you are already spending your days like not dreaming big, just dreaming small and playing small, that is how you will forevermore remain just a small in your own mind, okay? That's not to say that I don't see your potential and I can see much greater, bigger things for you. But when you think small for yourself, think small in terms of your dreams, your abilities, your potential, there's a very good chance that you're going to create exactly what you were expecting yourself, which is just the small stuff. And consider the alternative that believing in yourself will lead to you dreaming bigger or living bigger and just expecting more from this one precious, beautiful life that you have to live. Believe in yourself, my friend, and if you are struggling with this, I encourage you to work on it, like work on it every single day. It all starts with the words that you speak to yourself, and you can start with the simple ones. I believe in me. I really do believe in me. So please take care, my friend, and excuse the terrible audio that I'm sure has been recorded while I'm sitting here in my car. I absolutely love the fact that I was able to just do this in one go, 10 minutes, short and sweet. And hopefully there's just at least one person out there that is listening today that finds value in these words and just needed that reminder to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. And that is it, my friends. Take care as always. I love and appreciate you all. And I will catch you in the next episode. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friend.